Once again, it's Leo with Mining Sumo, another car based video because the kids are home and I cannot work while they're screaming around me. So, I made four videos so far, all right, on mining, on gaming laptops. One of them came out about a month ago. Check it out, and uh, all the links are in the description below to previous videos. Um, so, the first one was the Asus TUF uh, F15. That's a 3070 RTX 3070 Max Q. So, it's a cut down version. And uh, it runs at 80 watts maximum uh, power, so we are running at 44.8 mega hashes per second. That's the maximum I could get out of that system. So that video has been around for a while. Today I'm making a whole series, five of them. All right. So the first one was the 2060 on an Acer Acer laptop. Okay, and that's pretty much the same as desktop uh, 2060 or a desktop 1660 Ti or 1660 Super. Uh, so. I think it's the same GPU, same memory, uh, same memory speeds. They just gave it a name 2060. I don't believe there is any difference as far as mining performance. Maybe there's some gaming differences, but uh, not a lot. They're very close. The 1660 Ti and the 2060, they're very close to each other. Okay. The next laptop was a 2070 Max P. And we, I believe, got about around 44. So the same hash rate as my 3070 Max Q. Okay. Minus cut down normally you would get about 60 mega hashes on the 3070 but we're limited to 80 watts so okay the 2070 was about 44 mega hashes per second then we tested a 3070 max p from the msi a really expensive and a nice laptop and we obviously got the full performance out of it but it's kind of expensive but make sure you check out that video and final video of the nvidia uh, lineup is the the msi 3080 really nice laptop $2,800 let's watch so before we start the video it's really short it's only 30 seconds and there are two reasons why it's so short so number one the managers they were watching me and this was the last video I recorded so I was standing there for like a while by then going from one laptop to another and I had to like disable the antivirus for, for one hour install the download and install the miner set it up run it for two three minutes then delete all the files and then re-enable the antivirus. That took a while and so they started watching me. I'm like, I've been buying from this micro center for a long time. I spent over 20 grand there. And this manager, Huyan, he's been there for a while. And he knows me, he knows my face. And he, like, I don't know why they treat miners like thieves in this store. I already mentioned this in the previous video. Because like, we spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars whereas like yeah they cater to gamers but gamers lifetime they would spend maybe three four grand you know maybe they buy one system today spend a fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on the system and then like five years ten years from now they buy another one whereas miners spend like 20 30 grand on gpus alone then they buy all the other stuff so we buy like multiple computers and yet we get treated like thieves at this store all right and uh so he, like this huyan he walks by me like Make sure you're not installing any programs on my laptops. Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, whatever, sure. <laughs> and then he tells one of his goons, like, go around the store, check all the laptops, make sure he's not, like, mining. <laughs> well, I wasn't there technically mining. I was testing the system's performance, so I deleted all the miners by the time they went around. Um, I wasn't stealing their hash power, you know? I didn't even put my wallet in there. I just used the stock wallet and the Phoenix miner that you download. Anyway, this was done for testing purposes. But yeah, um, if any managers or employees or like upper upper managers at micro center are watching this you guys are treating your high paying customers like thieves and uh you know what this time around i spent all my money at best buy so you're not getting a dime of my money uh because you treat us miners like thieves instead of like saying thank you and this is not just huyan there's like five managers over there and they're all like <laughs> I don't want to swear, but they're not nice, pe not, not nice folks over there, you know. Like, so anyway, uh, let's watch this video. It was cut short. And the second problem was that I actually could not run the MSI afterburner on this computer for some reason. It just would not start, so I could not do any power controls. So let's watch. Um, here's the quick spec. You know, high-end uh, laptop, so you have the eight-core i7, tenth generation, not that great, but whatever. Uh, Thirty-two gigs of RAM, pretty nice, one terabyte, and a RTX 3080, all right? I am not sure if this is Max P or Max Q because I was not able to overclock it because the MSI afterburner did not start and then the Huyan guy, he kind of like <laughs> screwed up the test. 
So let's watch. Okay, out of the box we get 53 mega hashes per second. All right. I think my battery is dying a little bit. Okay, let it run. So anyway, yeah, we're getting 53 mega hashes per second out of the box. And I think I'm going to try to complete the installation of the uh, afterburner, but it's not going to start. Hence, the end of the video. Actually, no, I did pause it. Probably Huyan went by and I paused it. But yeah, we basically, oops, we're basically stuck at 50. 3.5 mega hashes per second and if this is indeed a max p version like technically 3080 should give you 100 mega hashes per second but on desktop they get really really hot and uh people are forced to replace like the memory uh thermal pads to keep the heat down so i don't think even the laptop version will hit more than 80 um and that would be pretty insane and then like you have 200 some watts of power to dissipate so I think the, this would be limited to like 75 mega hashes per second. You know, out of the box it's 53, so probably by 70, 75 mega hashes it would stop. So 28, 2800 bucks for 75 mega hashes, kind of on the expensive side. But if you're a gamer and you're buying this laptop anyway, it's worth mining on it. Just keep it, you know, at least uh, turn it upside down so you get more airflow. Better to stand it like a pyramid. Just like that and like you see those pictures of a chinese mining laptop mining farms you know where they have like hundreds of those uh 3060 laptops uh standing like a you know like a tipi so yeah okay guys thanks for watching this was the last video of the nvidia lineup next is the like a gift sort of not a gift but uh you know like a something special from amd and i think it's really cool so make sure you watch that, make sure you watch other videos. Click this, click like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video, which will be the last one of this series of tests. And then we will try to do some magic with the AMD uh, laptop. Okay, see ya.